there's nothing that sticks to my brain about this no, movie. It wasn't good. Steve Martin, Rachel Ward, Carl Reiner, and Steve Martin. Dead men don't wear plaid. Welcome to Conde vs. the Machine, video edition, in person edition. I know, it's so weird. We should be masked. <laughs> you know who should have been masked? No, that's not going to make sense. I was going to say, the people who tried to make this film, because it shouldn't have been made, were like <laughs> reined in. Yeah, I'll, I'll rim shot that. What film are we talking about? The oft discussed Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. Ah, classic. Classic film classic that everyone film. still talks about to this day. Yes. Uh, Starring... Steve Martin. Right. Directed by Carl Reiner. Of course. They had already made The Jerk the year before, or a couple years before. Classic. So you would think this comedy team, this duo... It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's and it's all good. about film noirs. I love, I love film noir. Dave, tell me if it did or did not work for you. I don't remember, so it did not. <laughs> <laughs> We, we did, in fact, watch a movie. We did watch it. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was too smart for its own good. It's like a thought experiment and uh, almost like a ego rush. Like, what if we do this and let's see how long we can keep it together? And it was boring. It was so, so boring. Well, what we do find out doing some research into the movie itself, and we go into much more detail again in the audio version of the podcast, Steve Martin had come to this meeting, this lunch meeting, and had an idea of like, wouldn't it be cool for one scene in this movie to be a film noir and actually go into a real film noir. Like I'm mm -hmm. transported there. Sounds neat. And I was like, okay, that's it. that probably would have been a cool like little sequence. Instead, Carl Reiner and the other writer of this film, whose name escapes me at the moment. It's important. Were so enthused by this that they were like, let's make an entire movie about it. <laughs> and I think that something that would have sustained probably a very good five minute sequence Yes. Cannot be stretched to an hour and a half. No, we, we learned this in Saturday Night Live films, mm -hmm. right? I will go to my grave saying that at the Roxbury is a great movie. <laughs> well, you know what? I did like that uh, for what it was. Sure. For what it was. Yeah, you get a great bit. It should be left a bit. And this thing just beats the bit to, to, to bits. bits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't even remember. Was there a redeeming quality? I, the other problem for me is I, I do love film noir and my wife and I had just watched Double Indemnity, which is one of the small snippets that's mm -hmm. in this. That so for me at that point, it just kind of became long. offensive. I, I felt like they were doing a disservice to film noir instead yeah, I, of honoring it. I think what we kind of both came to the conclusion of is that one, while the germ of the idea I don't think is bad, sustaining it is it's too long. Two, just what you said, when you put Church classic no film noirs right against you Carl Reiner's, like, you. not a bad director, but You're limited drunk. director ability, I mean, yeah. you can tell it right away, like, oh, this does not belong yeah, with right one another. That's right. And third, I think all of that might have been forgiven if I found any of the jokes funny. There's nothing. Right. And I personally find zero. one. Zero By the way, pieces. people on Twitter are agreeing with me because they all say that it's the same thing. It's like, that one scene with the coffee this is, is why, really, really funny. This is why I uninstall Twitter because it's uh, for idiots. Yeah. But so explain the... The, the one bit. scene that goes on and on and on about him filling a coffee maker. Comedy gold, but it's literally the only thing I think that works in this movie. I think the only other thing is uh, you discovered Steve Martin didn't want to be prepped. Right. And you can tell. He did not fit in with the tone of film noir acting. And it's just, yeah, every single piece of it just pulls you out of it. It's a very forgettable film. Yeah. Like, it's not something I hate because I was forgetting while I was watching this movie that I was watching this movie. By the end of this year, even, I'm going to be like, Deadman, was that something that we watched? Uh, I guess. I, I guess I'm it was. I'm only recalling now that we're yeah. talking. Like, yeah. how does it end? Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know that there's a standoff and they try and explain the murder plot. Oh, that part was, I'll give you, uh, that part was funny. Okay. When they're talking over each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Much what? like our podcast. Yeah. That is like the, the, the first podcast ever was this <laughs> Actually, movie. Maybe. And them just talking over top of each other constantly. <laughs> it is uh, very hard to edit, to be honest. God, I cannot remember what happens after that um, scene. Sorry, me. Like, there's nothing that sticks to my brain about this no, movie. It wasn't good. Yeah, it wasn't so. good. Don't I mean, there's a reason why you can't find it. Mm -hmm. Don't go looking for it. It's unfortunate. I'm a huge Steve Martin fan, like a huge Steve Martin fan. Why are you here? Emerson, what do you think about Steve Martin? That. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Steve.
All right. Um, is there anything else that no. we should talk about? Yeah, we should get You can subscribe to the audio version of the podcast. Anywhere you get podcasts, it's a much more in-depth uh, conversation about this. Of course, longer, you, yeah. Much longer, <laughs> that is correct. And you, of course, can rate, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube. Oh, yeah. We're Numbers. almost there. Almost so, close 100. so close to 100. So close to 100. So you might be able to tip us over the edge. But next time, this is kind of our palate cleanser towards a much uh, more, I don't know, butch, uh, a masculine yes. string of films. It's, it's what we like. It's, it's what we do. First blood. I mean, right? <laughs> the alpha male. The example <laughs> of the alpha male is to my left First blood's here. good. First blood. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a little Stallone. I Got a big knife. They don't call him the Italian stallion for nothing. Let me no, tell you that. Like, that's not the right shape. Weapon. What does fuck mean? It's when a man and a woman are in love. A man puts his... No, no. Written here. F-O-C. F-O-C.